Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on an in-flight Singapore Airlines Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft, a special commemorative 10,000 Airbus aircraft in their current livery scheme and a 1-200 scale model. I purchased this model from Aviation Megastore, whose store is based out of Amsterdam in the Netherlands, and their website address is www.aviationmegastore.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular commemorative aircraft model, please allow me to share you some information about the history of Singapore Airlines and how they actually came about. Singapore Airlines was founded on May 1, 1947, under the incorporation of Malayan Airways Limited by the Ocean Steamship Company of Liverpool, the Strait Steamship Company of Singapore, and Imperial Airways, respectively. Then fast forward to September 16, 1963, the airline became Malaysian Airways Limited. Then fast forward to May 1, 1966, it became Malaysia Singapore Airlines. Now fast forward to September 30, 1972, when Malaysia Singapore Airlines decided to split up and become two separate entities, Singapore Airlines and Malaysian Airlines System, which is actually known today as Malaysia Airlines, due to conflicts between the governments of Singapore and the governments of Malaysia on expanding into international markets. And as a result, Singapore Airlines officially commenced operations on the very next day of October 1st, 1972, and has been operating under the Singapore Airlines name ever since. As of May 2022, or at the time of this video review posting, Singapore Airlines is currently amongst the top 15 airlines in the world when measured in revenue passenger kilometers, as well as the world's 10th largest airline in terms of international passengers carried. Whereas the headquarters of Singapore Airlines is located at the Airline House, which is located at 25 Airline Road in Singapore, while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of Singapore Changi Airport, which is located approximately 15 miles northeast of the Commercial Center District section of Changi, Singapore. Singapore Airlines is the national flag carrier airline for the country of Singapore, and at the time of this video review posting, Singapore Airlines flies to 112 destinations in 32 countries across five inhabited continents from its primary hub at Singapore Changi Airport with an operating fleet of 152 aircraft that includes 59 Airbus A350-900s in which 52 of those are the XWB extra wide body aircraft variant including this one you're looking at here and the remaining seven are the ULR the ultra long range aircraft variant. And in addition to the 152 aircraft that currently operates in the Singapore Airlines fleet, the airline also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 81 more aircraft, which includes six more Airbus A350-900XWBs, extra wide-body aircraft, and those aircraft, as we speak, are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also, as of May 2022, or at the time of this video review posting, Singapore Airlines is one of 11 airlines in the world of aviation, along with ANA All Nippon Airways, based out of Tokyo, Japan, Asiana Airlines, based out of Seoul, South Korea, Cathay Pacific, based out of Hong Kong, Eva Air, based out of Taipei, Taiwan, Garuda, Indonesia, based out of Jakarta, Indonesia, Hainan Airlines, based out of Heiko, Hainan, China, Japan Airlines, based out of Tokyo, Japan. Korean Air, based out of Seoul, South Korea. Lufthansa, based out of Cologne, Germany. And Qatar Airways, based out of Doha, Qatar, to actually hold this prestigious honor of currently operating as a certified five-star airline carrier, according to the international airline review firm, Skytrax Magazine. And the Airbus destination code for Singapore Airlines for this particular aircraft is 94X. All right, everyone. Let's take a look at the front of the box here. We're gonna start at the top where you see not suitable for, for children under 14 years. That's the warning information there. You see the airline's logo, the Singapore Airlines title, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the registration ship number on this aircraft, the commemorative 10,000 Airbus aircraft decal, the aircraft type, the one 200 scale, as well as the item number information you see at the front of the box. All right, now you're looking at the back of the box. Nothing much back there except the airline's logo and the warning information you see at the back of the box. Okay, now you're looking at the top of the box and what you see is the airline's logo, the Singapore Airlines billboard title, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, 
the registration ship number, the 1-200 scale, the aircraft type, as well as the item number information at the top of the box. All right, now you're looking at the bottom of the box. It's pretty much the same information at the top of the box I just showed you earlier on, okay? All right, now you're looking at the nice little metal model stand that actually came with the model. And at the bottom of that model stand is a nice looking plaque that features the airline's logo here, the Singapore Airlines titles, the aircraft type, as well as the scale model information inside that plaque. And then you come up here above the uh, model stand and write that little black pattern there, folks. That's a black patent, and the sole purpose of that black patent, folks, is not only to protect your model, it's also been prevented from being damaged or scratched when you decide to put your aircraft on this particular model stand, all right? All right, now you're looking at this plastic bag. What you see in this plastic bag are the actual gear replacement doors for this particular model, featuring the two little toothpicks for these gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into detail for the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model, okay? All right, now you're looking at the commemorative card that actually came with the model. You see the Singapore Airlines titles, the airline's logo, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, uh, the aircraft type, the registration ship number. You also see the Singapore flag decal there as well. All right, with all that information out of the way about the history of Singapore Airlines and how they actually came about and still operating strongly as we speak, Plus all the details here at the front of the box, plus the little information at the back of the box, plus the actual model stand, the commemorative card you see back there, as well as the gear replacement doors inside that plastic bag. And with no further ado, everyone, here is the actual model out of the packaging box. Let's check it out. All right, there it is, everyone. The in-flight Singapore Airlines Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide-body aircraft, the special commemorative 10,000 Airbus aircraft. Now, allow me to share you some information how Singapore actually ended up with this aircraft. So I'm about to go into details right now. Aircraft manufacturer Airbus reached a prestigious milestone as the European aircraft maker historically celebrated the 10,000th aircraft that was actually produced and built by Airbus. With, that was officially delivered and handed over to Singapore Airlines at a special commemorative ceremony that was held at the Airbus Delivery Center facility, which is located in Toulouse, France, on October 14, 2016, as Singapore Airlines officially became the actual airline recipient of this special commemorative aircraft. This special commemorative 10,000 Airbus aircraft is also the carrier 6 Airbus A350-900XWB, extra wide body aircraft that actually entered the Singapore Airlines fleet. Out of the 67 that the Singapore based carrier has ordered, as this particular aircraft also displays the unique commemorative 10,000 Airbus aircraft decal, which can be visibly seen near the rear sectional part of the fuselage, as this same particular aircraft was also utilized to launch their new direct nonstop flight from Singapore Changi Airport in Singapore to San Francisco International Airport in San Francisco as Singapore Airlines Flight SQ-32 which was officially inaugurated 10 days later on October 24, 2016. And the actual estimated flying time on this particular route is anywhere between 14 hours and 35 minutes and 17 hours and 45 minutes respectively, depending on the time of the year as well as the direction of the aircraft. Whereas Singapore Airlines has ordered a total of 67 Airbus A350-900 to add to their fleet. And at the time of this video review posted, only 55 are currently operating in service, while the remaining 12 are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. As the airline's entire fleet of Airbus A350-900s are currently based and operated exclusively out of the airline's main operating hub at Singapore Changi Airport in Singapore, as Singapore Airlines is currently the world's largest operator of the Airbus A350-900 aircraft type variant. Let us talk about delivery scheme. This is the current livery scheme for Singapore Airlines, as the logo type and the stripes actually underwent another livery scheme makeover in 2006, which saw the Singapore Airlines billboard title font was enlarged and moved towards the front of the fuselage, and the airline's bird logo on the tail fin of the aircraft was enlarged as well. And this has been the airline's signature livery look ever since 2006. So, with all this information out of the way about the uh, information about this particular commemorative aircraft, as well as the livery scheme you see on this aircraft. With no further ado, everyone, let us get down to business and allow me to show you all the details on this aircraft model. Shall we? Let's check it out. 
All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the port slash left side of the aircraft. We're going to start at the front of the aircraft, starting at the front nose landing gears, the landing gear struts, the landing gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on that uh, nose gear door, MF. You see the Peter tubes and the static ports, the radon nose cone. And there's more uh, Peter tubes right there, the windshield wipers, as well as the cockpit windows. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those details later on in the model review, so please stay tuned for that part. And right between the cockpit windows and the L1 entrance door is the actual Star Alliance decal, which is this decal you see right here. And Singapore Airlines joined the Star Alliance on April 1st, 2000, which consists of 26 airline members from five inhabited continents. And this alliance actually includes Air Canada, Lufthansa, SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, Thai Airways International, and United Airlines as the five founding members. And then you see the Singapore Airlines titles right up here, right there. And then right underneath the uh, business class window is the Airbus A350-900 decal. You see that right there. As of May 2022, or at the time of this video review post, Singapore Airlines currently operates the Airbus A350-900 in two aircraft variants. The Airbus A350-900XWB, the extra wide body aircraft variant, which this one you're looking at here, which entered the Singapore Airlines fleet on March 2nd, 2016, and the Airbus A350-900ULR, the ultra long range aircraft variant that entered the Singapore Airlines fleet on September 26, 2018. And at the time of this video review posting, Singapore Airlines is currently the world's largest operator of this aircraft type with 55 currently operating in service. All right, now you're looking at the center aircraft where you see the Singapore Airlines titles right there. And right next to the Singapore Airlines title is the Singapore flag decal, which is this decal you're looking at right here. And this flag decal actually represents the country where Singapore Airlines currently operates from as the national flag carrier airline for the country of Singapore. And then right underneath the wings, folks, is the actual uh, outer bogey landing gears right here, which includes the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear door. But more important, you see these big massive engines right here, featuring the engine cones right there. And these are the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB84 turbofan type engines that are actually used on this particular Singapore Airlines Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft. Now we're going to turn this um, aircraft model around. We're going to actually find out that the turbo fan blades do spin. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port slash left side where you see the actual engine strike slash air deflectors there. And now let's see if the fan blades in here spin. Let's check it out. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Then you slide over this way. You see the little triangle pattern, the three little dots there. Then the inboard landing lights, as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears you see here, which include the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the starboard slash right side of the aircraft, where you see the engine strikes, air deflectors there. And then let's see if the fan blades spin on here as well. Perfect. Awesome. Then you see the inboard landing light right there as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears we include the landing gear struts as well as the actual landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft where you got a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, there's Peter tubes right there, the radon nose cone, the uh, front nose landing gear door, the landing gear lights inside of the landing gear doors, the landing gear struts, as well as the front visual view of the front nose landing gears. All right, we're still on the port side of the aircraft, and what you're looking at is the blended winglet wingtip device, which is this little device you see right here. And these blended winglets were made from composite materials, and the sole purpose of these blended winglets is to improve the overall efficiency of the aircraft, resulting in saving fuel, lowering noise emissions, and improving takeoff performance at the same time. These blended winglets has a 31.9 degree sweep angle, helping to increase cruise speed to Mach 0.85 and a maximum operating speed to Mach 0.89. The blended wingers for the Airbus A350 were produced at the Airbus Broughton factory, known as a specialist facility, located in Hawarton, Flintshire, Wales, which lies near the border of England and Wales. Now I'm going to let you see the, uh, these blended wingers from the front view angle, and then there's the red navigation light you see displayed there. All right, now you're looking at the front 
visual view of the blended winglet wingtip device on this aircraft how it sweeped at a 31.9 degree sweep angle how it sweeped off right there which i find impressive all right we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side and right down here that is the aft bolt bin door but more important right above the windows is the special commemorative 10,000 airbus decal which is this commemorative decal you're looking at here all right this special commemorative decal you see back here i showed you earlier indicate that this particular aircraft was actually the 10,000th aircraft that was actually produced and built by the aircraft manufacturer airbus that was officially commemorated in which the aircraft manufacturer historically celebrated a prestigious milestone when this commemorative aircraft was officially delivered and handed over to Singapore Airlines on October 14, 2016, as Singapore Airlines officially became the actual airline recipient of the special commemorative aircraft. Alright, we're still at the back of the aircraft and right above the uh, AFT bolt bin door is the actual registration ship number, 9 Victors. 9 Victor, sorry about that, 9 Victor dash SMF, which is this uh, registration ship number you're looking at here. Registration ship number 9V dash SMF. This particular aircraft is actually the 6th Airbus A350-900 XWB extra wide body aircraft that actually entered the Singapore Airlines fleet. It was also the special commemorative 10,000th Airbus aircraft that was actually produced and built by the aircraft manufacturer Airbus and the first test flight on this aircraft took place on September 26, 2016 and was officially delivered to Singapore Airlines on October 14, 2016. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft and what you're looking at is the tail fin and what's on that tail fin is the Singapore Airlines logo which is this big logo you see displayed here. And the Singapore Airlines logo actually resembles that of a bird that's inspired by a silver chris, which comes from the Karis, a dagger from Southeast Asia, prominently featured in the region's myth and folklore, and has been the airline's official logo ever since the airline's inception from the split of Malaysia-Singapore Airlines in 1972. All right. Now looking at the back of the aircraft, what you're looking at is the APU auxiliary power unit exhaust hole right here. And there is a hole right there, folks. See? And then there's the strobe lights underneath the APU exhaust hole, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Check it out. There it is, everyone. The Singapore Airlines Airbus A350-900 XWE extra wide body aircraft, a special commemorative 10,000th Airbus aircraft from the rear view angle. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side. We're going to start at the front where you see the front nose landing gears, the landing gear struts, the landing gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on that nose gear door, MF. See the Peter 2s and the static ports, what have you. See the radome nose cone, the more Peter tubes, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the Star Alliance decal. The um, Airbus A350-900 decal, the front cargo container loading door, the Singapore Airlines title, the Singapore flag decal, the um, Rolls-Royce Trent XWB-84 turbofan type engine see here, the, the um, engine cones right there, as well as the front side visual view of these landing bogey gears, including the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the blended winglet wingtip device here on this side of the aircraft, the starboard side featuring the green navigation light. As well as the front visual view of the uh, blended winglet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft and what you see is the rear cargo container loading door, the registration ship number, the commemorative 10,000th Airbus aircraft decal you see there, as well as the airline's load display here on the tail fin of the aircraft. All right, before I show you this aircraft mount from the aerial bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft mount in full detail, please allow me to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gear. So let's check them out. Rolls pretty good. The front nose gear is kind of rough, though. You got to be careful on the front nose gear, as you can see. Then it does tilt. 
and the front nose gear swivels as well as you can see there okay so with no further ado let's check out this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view let's check it out all right now you're looking at the aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view well, we're going to start at the front where you see the radome nose cone, the pita tubes, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the podscape hatch door, the star lines decal on both sides. And then we start along this way here. You see the Singapore Airlines billboard tiles on both sides. You see the anti-collision beacon light, the Wi-Fi box antenna, a high frequency antenna. You see the Singapore flag decal on both sides. Another high frequency antenna. Then you see the 10,000th Airbus aircraft decal on both sides, and then that's the satellite communications antenna, another high frequency antenna, and then there's the vertical stabilizer known as the tail fin, and then you come right here, okay, that's the, ho the, the horizontal stabilizer featuring the little black dot you see there, as well as over here. Those little dots there want to actually call illuminator lights, and the sole purpose of these illuminator lights is that it actually light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the engines and the wings from above. There's the engines right there. And then there's the wings right there. No wing walkway, but you got the flat, slats, aileron, spoilers, what have you. The warning information, the fuel dump valve, as well as the blended winglet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft. Now let's check out this side. See the engines there. Get the wings above. With no uh, wing walkway, but you got the flaps, slats, aileron, spores, what have you. The warning information on this side here as well. Fuel dump valve, as well as the blended winglet wing to device weight on this side of the aircraft as well. Now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model which is mostly white. We're going to start at the front there as well. We see the radome nose cone, the crew escape hatch door, the front nose landing gear doors, the actual front nose landing gears, and then we slide up this way, folks. A couple high frequency antennas, the actual hole where the model stand goes in at, the anti collision beacon light, another high frequency antenna. I don't know what that is right there. And then there's the APU housing doors and the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears right here. Perfect, they tilt. And then you see the uh, engines right there as well as the wings underneath includes the flap, slats, aileron spoilers, restrained ship number, fuel dump valve, as well as the blended winglet on this side of the aircraft. Now let's check out this side over here. The gears tilt there as well, perfect. The engines there as well as the wings underneath includes the flaps, slats, aileron, spoils, what have you, uh, fuel dump valve, as well as the blended winglet on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, since I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, now I'm going to put it on that nice little metal model stand you see there that I showed you earlier. And with no further ado, everyone, here is the model on the stand. Let's check it out. All right, finally got this model on the stand, no problem, no hesitation. As you see, it's displayed in the takeoff land position with the model on the stand. Now I'm going to let it rotate in the clockwise rotation position, starting with the port side. Now you're looking at the tail cam angle. Now you're looking at the starboard side of the aircraft. And look at the front of the aircraft, as well as back to the port side of the aircraft. Okay, before I take this model off the stand, I got it at this angle for a reason. And the reason is, is the actual magnetic gears that actually came with the model. So I'm going to go ahead and take them all, starting with the front nose gear, and let you see what I'm talking about. That's magnetic. The bogey gear here on the port side, that's magnetic. And the bogey on the starboard side, that's magnetic as well. 
Now, since I took all the gears off this model, I'll let you see this model at a different angle in flight mode slash gears up position without the gears. Let's check it out. Okay, now you're looking at this model displayed on the stand in flight mode slash gears up without the gears position. Now you got one or two options how you want to continue to play your model. If you want to continue to play it like this without the gears, like that, that's fine. You see these gear replacements doors inside this plastic bag that I showed you earlier? That's the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors so you can substitute your gears while you play your model like this in flight mode position. Or you can do like I do, just keep them in the gear down position with the gears on the model. Gears up, gear down, your choice. I choose to keep mine on there because it adds more value to the model. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put these gears back on this model, take this model off the stand, and go ahead and wrap up this model review. Alright? Alright, the seating configuration. Singapore Airlines has three seat and configurated cabin layout versions that they actually use for their Airbus A350-900 jetliner aircraft. The long haul configurated version, the medium haul configurated version, and the ultra long haul configurated version. However, on this particular Singapore Airlines Airbus A350-900 XWB extra wide body aircraft, which is the long haul configurated cabin layout version. It seats 253 passengers in a three class configurated cabin layout. Here's the breakdown everyone from rows one to 11, which will be about from here to about right here. You have 42 business class seats, rows 31 to 33, which will be from here to about right here. You have 24 premium economy class seats in rows 41 to 62, which will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have an additional 187 economy class seats, which brings the total of 253 seats. And finally, Singapore Airlines currently employs this aircraft or have previously utilized this aircraft, the Airbus A350-900XWB, extra wide body aircraft on routes from its main operating hub at Singapore Changi Airport in Singapore to worldwide destinations such as Adelaide, Australia, Albania, Amsterdam, Schiphol, Netherlands, Auckland, New Zealand, Barcelona, Spain, Brisbane, Australia, Cape Town, South Africa, Christchurch, New Zealand, Copenhagen, Denmark, Dhaka, Bangladesh, Dusseldorf, Germany, Frankfurt, Germany, Hanoi, Vietnam, Hong Kong, Houston, Bush, Intercontinental via Manchester, England, Istanbul, Turkey, Johannesburg, South Africa, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, London, Heathrow, Los Angeles, California, Manchester, England, Manila, Philippines, Melbourne, Australia, Milan, Malpensa, Moscow, Dumas, Dedivo, Mumbai, India, Munich, Germany, New York, JFK, Osaka, Kansai, Paris, Charles de Gaulle, San Francisco, California, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Seattle, Washington, Stockholm, Orlando, Sydney, Australia, Tokyo, Haneda, Wellington, New Zealand via Melbourne, Australia, and Zurich, Switzerland. Those are the routes. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I'd like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting it. If you can find it, your only outside chance of getting this model, if you can find it, is on eBay. Because, you know, JC Wings did one before in flight. And that sold out pretty quick. And this one pretty much sold out quickly as well. So if you can find it, please snatch it up. Highly recommend it. So with that said, please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. And above all, please stay safe out here, folks. Peace.